Hello. Hi, hi, all of you. Uh, again, this is Aradhya here. It's great to come back this session. We've had some amazing stuff happening this week and we have a lot of things uh, in the pipeline. However, before starting the conversation, um, a quick tech check. Uh, if I'm audible to all of you, can you guys just ping in hashtag AMA channel saying, yes, Aradhya, you're audible so that we are all good to start with the session. And yeah. So I just want a quick confirmation from our community. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. I just saw. Thank you, all of you. So I think it would be wise for us to wait for two, three more minutes so that we have more audience joining in. Um, and meanwhile, please, all of you, check your network. Uh, I, we don't want you guys to miss today's session. Uh, every inch of it is going to be supremely important. So we have uh, our panel ready for the day. And yes, so not wasting more time or not utilizing more time uh, to be very specific on uh, introduction, we'll quickly jump into conversation with Pratik, the crypto mathematician uh, who absolutely requires no introduction at all. However, it's great Pratik for you to come and join us um, as frequently as possible. And we are equally honored for your time and uh, your choice to be part of the community call with Jump.Trade team. And we also have um, uh, other panelists joining from Jump.Trade key team uh, who are literally behind or in the making, making of MCL. And yes, so this is going to be a complete treat for all of the community members to ask all uh, uh, questions from sky to mud, from top, bottom, everywhere, so that you get all the insights that are as accurate as possible. Hi, Pratik. Uh, am I audible? Yes, I can tell Perfect. you. Loud and clear. Perfect. Thank you, Pratik. Yes. And uh, Ember, what's what's um, with you? So is, is everything fine? How is the network? Yeah, I hope, I hope you guys can hear me. Yes, yes, we can hear you. So yeah, quick question. So Pratik, how are you doing for the day? <laughs> all good, all good. Really excited for, uh, you know, the upcoming tournament today. Okay. And uh, today's uh, conversation, we'll keep it open for the public to ask as many Absolutely. questions as possible that they have. And then we can try to answer and cover all of that. Absolutely. So uh, to all the community members, meanwhile, where we guys are discussing on uh, MCL, what happened yesterday and what's the, uh, you know, uh, things those are lined up in pipeline, you guys can put in your uh, questions and your uh, doubts in the hashtag AMA channel. So that's from that's where we are going to pick up the questions. You could have done this even, uh, you know, before the start of the program, but however, you can even do it during the program. And Pratik and our, our um, other team members from the MCL, the making of MCL is all here to answer your queries as specifically as possible. So uh, yes, guys, to start with the question, um, what was, I know this can be as basic as possible, but I am just curious and so is the community. What was the beta version um, uh, MCL launch and how was it? How was it? So what has exactly happened? If you guys can just over it um, and give us accurate details about how the, the entire thing functioned and what were the outcomes of it? Uh, yeah, so I think uh, uh, on Wednesday, uh, this the past Wednesday of this week, so we had the, a closed beta where we invited around uh, 150 members of which around, uh, I think, uh, more than 100 of you guys, you know, like you uh, replied to it. And uh, then we did have the tournament uh, from uh, 6 to 8. And I think we did have, uh, I think, if I remember clearly, Javid, Hussein, and uh, uh, like all, all the members, like uh, I think even Lucifer and the others who managed to top the leaderboard. And I think the winner took away, you know, like around $500 and the minimum that the users took away was around $3, uh, which, you know, like up to 90 members were rewarded in this, uh, the closed beta. And uh, we also got a lot of good reviews about the game. And also like some people did mention they faced some bugs and they did report it in the initial Google form that was shared. But uh, yeah, overall, it was, you know, like a very positive feedback from the community. Perfect. Perfect. So um, from an external point of view, uh, specifically, Pratik, how do you see the entire process? So what's your takeaway from it? And uh, what do you want to share your experience with the community? Oh, absolutely. So I've tried testing the game uh, myself. And, uh, you know, it was it was pretty easy to use, I say, the flow in which, uh, you know, right from logging in to using the same ID on both Jump Trade and 
MCL. So there's no other problem with, uh, you know, having separate IDs, linking up of the NFTs was working perfectly. And uh, whichever small issues were reported. So, you know, you guys are trying your best to fix it. I'm pretty sure. And uh, yeah, I mean, I see a couple of questions by uh, Guth. I think Guth, if I'm not pronouncing it right, that the beta testing was going to be daily. But why is it not uh, happening daily? But that was the initial plan for sure to have a daily beta testing. But, uh, you know, since the number of bugs that were reported were fairly less, so we have some good news as well that the the release of the you know public uh, beta testing will be much much sooner so that was the reason why we did not go ahead with the uh, daily beta testing superb superb so we and uh, best part we did have a lot of people uh, wanting to play the closed beta version however we did have also like how the team has rightly mentioned we did have a selected few on a complete random basis to be part of the game being uh, uh, having played it so well people were all supremely happy and it was completely overwhelming for the entire team so and um going forward going forward when we talk about um the beta version that's been played and people did go ahead and win a lot of uh you know uh, a lot of earnings which f- for real-time benefits but uh, when it's when it comes to earning Pratik, uh, how can someone predict the earnings in the game? Okay, so uh, we can we can think of it in this way: like uh, the the price pool per tournament is going to be uh, sort of fixed, which is going to be changing on a daily basis. But then before the beginning of the tournament, then we'll be declaring a price pool that will be shared between X number of people, like I'd mentioned in the previous time as well. Now, more the number of people that keep coming in. So the the price will be distributed in such a way that, like for instance, today, let's say 60% of the players who are playing are going to be rewarded. Now, when majority of the players are going to be rewarded, so that time the price that will be shared by everybody will be smaller. And then there'll be tournaments some days wherein, you know, only top 30 or top 40 or top 50 will be rewarded. So we'll keep on using these dynamic price distribution strategies, wherein, uh, you know, some days the rewards per person will be very high. And less number of people will be rewarded and the rewards per person some days will be very small, but more and more number of people will be rewarded. So we are going to, we are going to keep this combination that is very widely used across multiple gaming platforms, multiple esports platforms, wherein, uh, you know, you guys can decide if you want to enter into a tournament wherein uh, the number of winners are less, but the price money is way higher. Or if you want to enter into a tournament where you have a much higher chance of winning prices. But the prices are going to be comparatively smaller. So that will depend on our player to player. And that's that's one way of uh, determining it. And if you ask me about how to win more prices, so it, it depends on the uh, you know type of NFTs that you're holding, uh, the levels of the NFTs that you have. So as in when you progress in the game, so one recommendation would be to keep on leveling up your NFTs. So because a higher level NFT will have an advantage over a lower level NFT. Uh, in terms of you know the accuracy, the timing of the shot, then uh, if if you want, you can upgrade to special bats, which will give you two x power ups, uh, less uh, negative uh, score when you get out. So there are all these features that you can combine uh, based on the white paper, and then you can select a perfect combination of batsman NFTs, bowler NFTs, and bat NFTs, and using this, uh, there will be a very high probability of you uh, you know entering into the uh, the top of the leaderboard and winning some handsome amount every single day. I also see some of the guys are asking uh, if there is any magic for hitting sixes. So there isn't any specific, uh, you know, hacks or something like that that you can do. Uh, yeah. It all depends on, you know, the the accuracy of, like, for instance, when the ball is coming to your bat, so the, okay. the timing with respect to how at the exact accurate spot you're hitting the shot. So that time... Uh, if it's at the right moment, so then you're going to be hitting a six. Uh, the reason why we have kept it that way is, um, you know, we don't want everybody to hit sixes on every single ball. So it's actually dependent a lot on the skill of the player. So a better skill set will lead to a much higher, uh, you know, price point, uh, capability of hitting a six. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, Pratik. But also, uh, one person wants to know, Priyansh, uh, I think either Pratik or the team, whoever uh, wants to take it up, take up. Will the leaderboard reset every day? Uh, yeah. So, we're going to be having uh, multiple leaderboards and each leaderboard will reset. So, it's going to be like a daily thing. And uh, also, if you notice, like you also have an MMR that, you know, like uh, also goes towards your matchmaking inside the leaderboard. That too will reset for each leaderboard. 
So, uh, so yeah, we're going to be having, uh, you know, like uh, multiple leaderboards over uh, uh, as the co- uh, as the game progresses. Perfect. Uh, and also, Pratik, I think uh, this question is more towards Pratik because he was just mentioning how uh, one can, uh, you know, uh, earn in which way when they start with the gameplay. So, is mm-hmm. it important uh, for an, uh, for a user to have particular um, a category of NFT? Uh, say, uh, having Epic and Legendary will guarantee them more earning than using Rookie for their gameplay. So, how does that mechanism work? Uh, I'd say that, see, uh, let's compare it to, you know, the, the traditional cricket game or any other game for that matter. So definitely having a, uh, you know, better batsman, like if you compare the gameplay of Sachin Tendulkar and someone who's going to come and bat at, a, you know, number eight or number nine, so then there's definitely going to be a difference between, you know, the way they are, uh, both of them are performing. That being said, uh, although, you know, the probability of Sachin hitting a higher score will be much higher. But at the time of matchmaking, so we have ensured that, you know, a legend level 15 will not be matched with a rookie level one. So that it becomes a very fair play. Like, for instance, a country like India will compete with a country like Australia and a country like, uh, you know, Ireland will compete with a country like Zimbabwe. So that the match between Ireland and Zimbabwe will be equally interesting to watch. And the match between India and Australia will also be equally interesting to watch. If there's going to be a match between... India and Ireland or Australia and Zimbabwe. So we all know that the results will be in the favor of either India or Australia. So that is just an analogy that I'd like to give that uh, the matchmaking has been uh, designed in such a way that you every time, no matter what kind of NFTs you're holding, but every time when you are matched with an opposing team, so both of the teams have an equal advantage over uh, or uh, equal fair play chance of winning the match. And uh, that being said, the probability of scoring higher runs will definitely increase uh, with the level of NFTs that you're holding. So if you compare a level 15 legend with a level one rookie, so, you know, there is a there is definitely a scope where the level 15 legend will have a higher advantage of scoring runs over level one rookie. And that being said, okay. it also depends on the skill factor. Like NFT makes a difference. But if a level one rookie has, uh, has a fantastic, fantastic skill set and the level 15 legend, uh, you know, is just standing there and not playing really well and not timing the shots well. So then that case, the level one rookie will definitely outperform the level 15 legend. But if two players with the exact same skill set and one NFT is of higher category, so then the higher category NFT will have an advantage. Okay, got it, got it. Perfect. Also, um, my next question is something that um, what I have seen personally and the community has seen. So when uh, people entered for beta version, uh, they saw... um, how team strength was primary, right? So if the uh, the team behind MCL uh, Amber, um, uh, so if you can talk about why is team strength important and how is the team strength calculated? Uh, yeah, so just like any traditional sport, you know, like each player complements each other, right? And then you to create that perfect chemistry, you know, like uh, one way to quantify it was through team strength. And uh, in terms of how it is calculated, uh, you know, like uh, each of our uh, MCL player, uh, you know, like they have like a weighted factor, which, you know, like is derived both from their, uh, you know, like the category, the category of that particular uh, MCL player and the level of that particular MC- MCL player. And then when you put them all together in a team, you know, like they, uh, the sum of it, you know, like goes towards the team strength. I don't know if it's sounding a bit technical but you know like uh, basically what it is is like you know like say uh uh say i will uh, just for example you know like uh say a rookie level one has a team you know like individual team strength of you know like say uh, 20 and then i put in you know like another three rookies along with it and you know like my team strength uh the sum of it will come to around 80 uh i hope that you know like clarifies so then based on it you know like uh, when you go for matchmaking uh, uh, so, you know, like your team strength is also taken into consideration and, uh, that way we'll be able to match you against, you know, like, uh, uh, another team that, you know, like has an equally, uh, like almost, uh, to ensure like a fair gameplay. Absolutely. Um, yes. So that being said, um, so how can one lead in the leaderboard? So uh, I, I think all of this are just connected to each other, very uh, minute margin that it holds. So I, we're just trying to uh, make it into a larger uh, circle, having a larger picture so that people are not getting confused at any point. So how can one lead in the leaderboard? 
I think even Pratik, yeah. if you can take it up, yeah. Oh sure. Hmm. So, your so, choice, uh, please. Please take it up. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, like topping the leaderboard is directly proportional to uh, two things. One, one I'd say is the number of runs that you are scoring in a particular match, and how many matches that you are playing in a day. Like for instance. uh if you go to the white paper and refer the uh, leaderboard section so every single run you score you get a point when you hit a four you get uh, additional points when you hit a six you get additional points when you take wicket from the opposite team you get some additional points uh, when you win the match you get some additional points so the more points that you accumulate by playing a match uh, the higher the ranking of yours will be in the leaderboard and let's say you have played a match and you've scored you know 40 runs hit two sixes two fours taken three wickets from the opposition side and you won the match Now the same thing if you keep on doing, uh, you know, for like let's say the duration of the tournament is two hours. So if you're continuously playing for two hours and you're completing ma- uh, majority number of matches, so even if you're losing some of the matches, even the matches that you have lost constitutes for some points in the leaderboard. So the more time you spend in metaverse cricket league and the more uh, runs you score in the league. Will lead to a higher and higher ranking in the leaderboard. Wow, that's that's amazing. Yes, absolutely. Um, also, a quick question, but I'm sure this is a like burning question right now, and all of us are going gaga behind the answer. We all want to know. So, um, when is the game launching? <laughs> Yeah, I think this is something that since the community has seen the beta version, they know how it works and all of that. So yes, the next big thing and uh, when is it happening? Any idea on that or a uh, uh, given approx timeline or so that our community is aware of it? Uh, sure, we'd like to create a bit of a suspense for the same. So you know, uh, we have been actively monitoring the beta test modules and uh, uh, you know the the number of bugs that were identified were comparatively way smaller. And of course, we see some of your suggestions wherein you know you guys are mentioning in the AMA that is the graphics going to improve or is the uh, you know can you improve the graphics of the game? So just one thing, guys, this is the very first beta version of the game. So you. You know, it's very uh, uh, you know if you want if you are expecting something like a full blown meta was cricketing in the beta version, so then uh, you know that's that's something that doesn't really happen with any of the games. So it's a continuous process. We'll keep on improving and updating uh, you know every single elements of the game. You can go to the uh, you know roadmap and see what are the future updates that we have planned. Which definitely uh, every single version that comes out, so it will come with better graphics. If you look at any of the games, you like look at FIFA, look at NFS. the first version of fifa and the current version of fifa the first version of nfs like the current version of nfs so there's going to be a huge huge difference between the you know the the visual appearance of that version that is the same uh, with every single game uh, that that happens you know that that is there right now so it's a continuous evolving process uh, the team the graphic designers so they the, the first priority for them is to focus on a working module of the game which is something which is running pretty smoothly now and once that has been fixed and that has been identified so then the next steps are in the continuous evolving graphics of the team so yes 100% the graphics are going to keep on improving as uh, we progress with the game and uh, that being said so we have some pretty uh, exciting news for all of you guys uh, to share and without uh, you know building the uh, what do you say the the surprise factor further so if all things go well if there aren't any major issues major bugs that are being laid out uh, if we get a you know feedback from you guys that things are working perfectly smooth so internally we have uh, sort of decided that we will go live with the game as early as next friday which is the 22nd of july provided everything is working smoothly no more major bugs or issues are being reported so that all of you all uh, you know most of the public can uh, start playing the game and give your feedback with respect to uh if you guys collectively are facing any bugs or issues and uh, that's that's what we are planning so 22nd of july which is next friday is when we are planning to go live with the uh, you know public beta version yeah i i would just like to add to it you know like uh, even though you know we go live on uh, 22nd we'll initially start with you know like smaller like very shorter formats maybe like a one and two hours and then gradually scale up from there Because you know, like uh, we definitely, you know, like would like to uh, def- uh, like have a much stabler version of the game out there. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, that's that's great. That's great. I think uh, f- 
uh, the community is finally happy to get an update on when exactly they can be expecting the game. Um, however, like how Pratik rightly mentioned, there is always a scope of improvement, be it how uh, big the brand is. We all learn, we all improve with the time. And again, it has to be as user-friendly as possible. That being a primary concern, we'll, do, we'll make sure we meet all the ends. We make sure that it's getting as easy and as comfortable for our users to play and just conquer all of it. Yeah. So uh, that being said, uh, guys, a quick question. What is happening at 7.30 p.m. IST today and what is Warm Up League? Yeah, so I think uh, a lot of you guys, uh, whoever holds at least one MCL batsman and one MCL bowler, might have gotten, you know, like, uh, apart from the announcement in our Discord here, might have also gotten an email inviting you to be a part of this warm-up league that's going to take place from 7.30 p.m. onwards. So over there, uh, we're going to be having, uh, it's going to be more of a, you know, like a, a, tr a trial run, you know, like where we want all the players to come experience the game, you know, like, uh, you know, like understand how the game works, you know, like what are the controls, you know, like how to set up a team and all those uh, nitty gritties. And then uh, the other thing is, you know, like uh, they can also use this time to, you know, like, uh, you know, like report any, you know, like interesting bugs that they encounter, you know, because that will go towards, you know, like creating a very, uh, that yeah, that will go towards, you know, like helping us, you know, like, uh, you know, like uh, solve that particular issue as well as, you know, like roll out a much more stable game, which in turn uh, is going to be a, uh, like a smoother gaming experience on your end and due to this you know like we won't be having any uh, prize money associated with this exercise and also we won't be giving any kit boxes uh, but uh, you can still you know like uh, uh, you can still uh, you know like level up uh, your account and uh, yeah so uh, this this uh, this uh, event that's going to be happening from 7:30 onwards is just going to be more of a uh, you know, like a bug finding and uh, something that's going to help users, you know, like know the game better. Absolutely. So, yeah, um, that's exactly the information that we wanted. Um, but um, the team, I'm asking the team. So can people stream the the uh, warm up, um, say warm -up league or the matches that they're playing? Can they stream anywhere outside the game in Discord or even outside Discord? So can they do that? Uh, yeah, I think I've seen Darsh asking it a lot, but yes, definitely you can go ahead and stream the game and, uh, you know, like we'll definitely also, uh, if you can drop in, you know, like your channel, I'll definitely go ahead and watch it as well. Yes. So uh, that is happening. I think last time when uh, they, uh, when the team launched beta version, it was very uh, restrictive and uh, it was uh, very constrained and people had to refrain from sharing it outside. Despite of that, we we did figure like few we did uh, like figure out um very few users uh, not adhering to the uh, the do's and don'ts and yes like we mentioned we we'll, we will do the needful but today is is a complete <laughs> cherry on the cake guys you get to play you get to uh, see what's happening inside the game you get to experience the magic and you can even figure out bugs if any the credible bugs of course and the team will take the decision what they consider what they'll not so you can put all of that in the google form link that's been shared in the announcement section under jam.trade um, section so that being done you can also go out and talk about the game uh, share your views uh, the screens and all of that and you will not be uh, you know questionable questioned for that because today you have that liberty to do it that is amazing amazing so uh, that being said um, the team i'm asking the team will people uh, outside android version will be able to access it um, as of now, uh, we just have the build ready for Android and uh, we are working on, you know, like having an iOS version as well. And uh, also as far as the listing goes, we are also like working on it. Like we had initially sent a build and we did get feedback for it. And, you know, like we're working on those issues as well. But as of now, uh, it's just going to be Android. But, you know, like in the coming days, uh, we can hope for uh, the iOS version as well. 
Okay, wonderful. That's that's nice. Um, and another quick question to Pratik. Pratik, we started the conversation with uh, talking uh, which category of NFTs can get in, uh, what kind of gameplay, and all of that. So uh, that being mm -hmm. said, all the NFTs that we are considering are either rookie, rare, epic, or legendary for that matter, being part of the game. Now, why is bat NFT uh, holding such a prominence, and what do they have to do with the game? Okay, so. Uh, bad basically, I think this question was covered last time as well, but bad NFTs basically have certain uh, skills with it. So depending on the type of bad, that defines your power, your power as in the power of hitting the shot. So if you're able to hit fours or sixes more often, that is one of the benefits. Second benefit is there are 2x power-ups that you get with certain types of bags. So when you select that 2x power-up, it means that if 2x is activated, so if you're hitting a six on that particular ball, so you'll be getting 12 runs instead of six runs. Uh, thirdly, it affects the negative scoring when you get out. So basically, once you get out, there is a minus uh, uh, you know, negative scoring associated. Now, depending on the type of bat you're holding, so if you're holding a, a much higher category bat, so then your negative scoring will be much smaller compared to a non-NFT bat. So if you get out, you, you might be getting minus five if you're holding a normal bat. And if it's a very rare bat, so you might be getting minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one whenever you get out. So that's another benefit. And another, the last benefit of holding a, a, a bat NFT is that the deviation angle for different bats is mentioned in the table. So lesser deviation angle means a higher accuracy of hitting the uh, hitting the ball towards boundaries. So these are the benefits of holding uh, you know, the bat NFT. Of course, mm -hmm. there is a significance in terms of some of the bat NFTs are signed by, uh, you know, legendary cricketers. So it's also a collect collectible that you can hold for yourself. So that is another addition that... Uh, okay, perfect. That, that's nice. That's nice. That's exactly the details that we want to know how important is the bat in the game. Um, yeah. So, uh, and another question for the team uh, in the making MCL, making of MCL, Crypto Tamil uh, wants to know, will there be category-wise tournaments? Like, will there be a rookie World Cup or legend cup, any sort of a tournament based on categories? Uh, Category-wise tournaments okay. right now have... Uh you know, not being planned, but it's a pretty interesting suggestion that, uh, you know, so we need these kind of suggestions. You can keep on uh, putting forward the suggestions. So right now, like we had mentioned at the beginning of the call, so the matching of the team will happen uh, based on the category of NFTs that you hold. So in, in, in a way, it's almost a category-wise tournament, but uh, it's a good suggestion. So we can definitely think over it, brainstorm over it, the feasibility of holding these, uh, you know, rookie cups, legend cups, epic cups and meta cups. So... Yeah, I mean, uh, we'll, we'll look at the feasibility of it and uh, decide if, you know, eventually. I think once we get, I think once we get you know, a critical mass of players, you know, it'll be easier right. to have this tournament because it'll be easier to, to match people, you know, like with uh, one another. But initially, as we grow, you know, like uh, the players as well, uh, it might, you know, like it not, might not be possible right now. But yeah, it's in the, you know, like we'll be planning for it. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yes. So, and a uh, quick question, uh, how many matches do I, will I be able to play uh, per day? If any of you can answer that, uh, how many matches will I be able to play per day? Maximum matches. Yeah, so I think, uh, for example, in today's one hour uh, event, you know, like uh, approximately a match takes between five to seven minutes to complete. So, you know, like by doing the math, it will come to around... Uh, Nine to, nine, 9 to 12 yeah 9 to 12 matches that you know like the user could go ahead and play but uh, you know like as we uh, keep increasing you know like the duration of tournaments you know like accordingly it will go up but then uh, you know like in the later phases once we bring in uh, you know like we're also planning for you know like an energy and you know like a stamina system so you know like that could you know like uh, you know uh, like uh, also might you know like the number of matches the uh, people can play it you know like might limit them Okay, got it, got it. So also um, a very uh, hypothetical question for sure. Priyansh, um, Priyansh from our uh, community wants to know, can he expect the NFT price to increase in the coming months? I think Pratik can answer. Uh, Take up yeah. Yeah. Like, to be honest, as, as a team, um, you know, we can't really comment on, uh, you know, the prices of the NST or the speculatory aspect of, uh, you know, of it. But it's pretty logical to understand, like, higher the adoption of the game happens. So the more will be the demand for those particular NFTs. And, you know, when there is a higher demand and there's a supply, so you can do the math on what can happen. But as a team, we would like to stay away from any speculation on the prices of, uh, you know, the NFTs. So, yeah. 
Perfect. Uh, yes, Pratik. Do we have one question. Um, yes. So, Pratik, can you see his question as well in the AMA channel? Uh, which one? Sure. Yeah. Uh, which one should we go? Uh, you has, always say uh, the four categories yeah. wrong. Because it, it's it's subjected to you, so you work. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rookie, rare, epic, and legend are the four uh, categories that we have. So we have only four categories here. Rookie, rare, epic, and legend. Yes. Okay, got it. So we have a question from Tony. Uh, Tony wants to ask us. Um, uh, I think the team as well can have uh, can take up this question. Uh, Tony is asking. So yeah. uh, is a tournament just restricted to one or two hours or for the entire day? Uh, initially, it's going to be, you know, like, uh, as I mentioned earlier as well, you know, like, once we do, uh, you know, like, if things go well on Friday, if we do go, you know, like, uh, live with the official build, we'll be starting small and, you know, like, gradually scaling up from there. And, you know, like, uh, definitely, if we do get, you know, like, a, a lot more influx of players, you know, like, we'll be scaling up faster. But uh, initially, we're going to be having, you know, like, uh, shorter formats of tournaments. But then, you know, like, as uh, players do get acquainted with the game, we might uh, increase okay. the I, and Tony, I think he also wants to know if there is going to be a one-week stretch leaderboard tournament. Uh, that's a very interesting question. But yeah, you know, like uh, definitely longer formats as well. You know, like everyone loves test cricket. Yes. And uh, we would also, you know, like love to have a longer format tournament as well in our game. As of now, it is restricted to a uh, single day. So in future, uh, we will, yeah, single heart. Okay, perfect. So um, yeah, a quick question with regards to uh, what are the earnings? So yes, uh, uh, talking about earnings, can can we again give them um, how uh, what are the primary difference between leaderboard points and JD points, and how JD points can actually get them real time benefits? If either Pratik, Pratik or the team who can take up and give a, a fine definition on how leaderboard points and JD points are different from each other and what purpose to this serve with the game and the platform uh yeah okay Pratik can go ahead yeah yeah okay so uh, basically, uh, when like leaderboard point, like we mentioned in the beginning of the call, so whenever you're scoring runs, uh, you will be coming in the leaderboard and uh, depending on your leaderboard points, you will be ranked in the leaderboard. So when you hit uh, four sixes, take wickets, when you win matches, you'll get more points and your ranking in the leaderboard will keep on moving up. So these are leaderboard points, the points that you get after the end of every match. And what are GL, to uh, GL tokens is basically uh, jump trade points. Let's call them as uh, jump trade points on GL coin right now. So what jump trade points mean is uh, let's say in a tournament we say that top 60 percent of the players will be rewarded with jt points so out of all the players who are there in the leaderboard so the top 60 percent will be rewarded with jump trade points or jt points now these jt points are almost equivalent to fiat so they can like once you get some jt points so you can decide if you want to withdraw that for uh, you know usdt or inr whatever you want to withdraw it with or you can uh, upgrade your NFTs by leveling them up or you can simply buy or sell NFTs on the marketplace. So there are, think of JT uh, tokens, uh, JT points as uh, fiat that you have and the value of 10,000 JT points is equal to uh, one US dollar. So that's what the valuation of JT points is. So that's the primary difference between JT points okay. and leaderboard points. That's nice, that's nice. And I think Priyansh uh, has a, another basic question, which again, I think it's primary to address. A team as well can answer for it. Why the game is only about batting and not bowling too? Um, we actually, uh, you know, like uh, in the back end, uh, working on the bowling functionality as well. But, you know, like uh, we still need some time to, you know, like, uh, you know, like there's still a lot of technical issues with it. But, you know, like we are, we do have like a working model for it, but uh, it will still take some time, you know, to have a much more stable version for it. And also like the focus is, you know, to, you know, like uh, phase by phase, you know, release these features because that way, you know, like we can ensure that, you know, like users are having a very smooth gaming experience. Wonderful. Superb. Uh, and another question from NFT Craze, uh, this also, this is directly uh, proportional to the NFTs, right? So if there is no NFT, then you you can't uh, enter the game clearly. So how will it help someone new to join? If the NFTs are really high price, how will they enter into MCL? Will there be any more drops or a rental system would help? A rental system is definitely uh, in the pipeline. Uh, so mm -hmm. as you can see in the coming soon feature, so those who cannot really afford to buy an NFT or don't really want to spend NFT before testing out the game. So there'll be a uh, rental system that will be enabled in the next phase or on the next version of the game. So in the rental system, you don't need to buy the NFT. You can rent out the NFT for a day 
Uh, you can rent out multiple NFTs for the days. So let's say you hold a rookie and you want to see what kind of benefits I can get by renting out a legend. So then you can simply rent out the, you know, a few legend NFTs, uh, try to play the matches using those NFTs. And then if you feel confident that it's going to be beneficial for you, so then you can go ahead and buy it later. So those if the floor price of the NFTs go really, really high, so mm-hmm. then you can uh, decide to rent out NFTs and play the game. Perfect. Thank you, Prateek. So, uh, and also Daksh Wain uh, wants to know, what is the difference between normal signed bat and an alien DNA bats? So if the team or Prateek, whoever uh, wants to take up that, please go ahead. Uh, just let us know the primary difference between a normal signed bat and an alien DNA bat. So the whole idea when creating, you know, like the normal signed bat, alien signed bats was, you know, like to keep, a, uh, I guess, an equilibrium between, you know, like the real world as well as, you know, like the uh, elements that we have from, you know, like the metaverse. So, you know, that was the idea of bringing in all these entities. Uh, but yeah, apart from it, you know, like the bats themselves are, uh, graded, you know, like starting from rare and going all the way up to uh, immortal and, and under the single uh, sign batch categories, and they have their associated powers as well. But uh, when you compare, you know, like the uh, the batch signed by legendary players as well as the uh, batch signed by, you know, like the alien DNA and the mecha, you know, like uh, they don't have meaning. Like uh, as of now, they don't have, you know, like any defining feature. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys. So uh, as long as I know, or uh, even the community has experience with the beta version, so when we enter the game uh we do wait for the opponent also to join and then we start with the game is it so absra one kumar wants to ask us is there any friendly matches between friends so uh, uh, will they be able to uh, create matches between the friends or choose their own opponents try to play among the friends and then proceed it in that way um, as of now, uh, we uh, don't support that functionality, but uh, we are working on bringing, you know, like where you can add friends and then challenge them. But as of now... Uh, okay, okay. So as of now, that's not happening, but there are possibilities for it to uh, get enabled as part of the progression, like how Pratik has mentioned that we are always will hold a source of... Uh, improvement and it is definitely subjected to the developments as well javid hussein wants to know guys when can uh he be able to rent the nfts uh for rental as well you know like we do have a working model on the back end but you know like we still you know like have a lot more uh you know like features to add to it and definitely bringing it uh you know like uh, making it public uh will take some time but you know like we're working on it as well perfect perfect and i think um okay so uh this user i'm not able to see uh the user's name so cj wants to know can uh they hit sixes what's the criteria what's the criteria to hit a six so is there a is there a particular criteria or a format where they can hit sixes uh, in the system um, I think I yeah yeah and also I think followed up for the same question uh, which bats are uh, you know subjected to give more sixes if you can give any vague pre- prediction over it so that he gets some confidence before starting the game. Um, so uh, you know like I think it all comes down you know to you know like a player skill as you know like Pratik also mentioned earlier you know like it all comes down to timing and you know if you do hit hit that uh, sweet spot you know like you're definitely going to get a six and you know like we try to emulate the normal game of uh, cricket as well wherein you know like you don't see you know like any player you know like trying to get a six on every ball but uh, uh, yeah definitely you know like uh, it all boils down to the skill as well as the timing. Okay. Okay, perfect. That's great. That's great. So uh, I think we are um, almost nearing to end of the program. Um, if you guys want to ask some very specific questions to the panel, you can always go ahead and ask. If not, I think we can move forward with the closing remarks for this session. Uh, however, I am seeing um, two, three people constantly asking um now with uh, with in no particular order we are taking up questions so you'll have to check if i have already answered i've already asked the question and we have already answered for the same Mm, CH Wanky, we see yes, you have a problem uh, in selecting the bowler. We are looking into the issue, so that's definitely uh, that that's on our technical front, and it will get solved as soon as possible. Do not uh, worry on that. I would just like to add that if anyone you know like have listed their NFTs for sale or auction on the marketplace, you know like they won't be visible in the game. So if you plan to use that particular MCL player or bat in the game. Uh, do make sure that you delist it first on the marketplace and then it should be visible in the game. Yeah, absolutely. So that's one thing to note, guys. Um, he is rightly uh, pointed out. So if you are not able to select an NFT like how we were 
constantly uh, ensuring that n- none of your NFTs that you want to play the game with is listed in the marketplace. So please be aware on that. Uh, have a double check. And we have a question from NFT Craze again. Will there be an entry fee after some months of playing or uh, will it be only for free entry? I mean, will it always remain a free entry? Um, uh, it's too early to comment on mm-hmm. uh, that right now. Like it all depends on, uh, you know, the, the kind of data that we are getting from the game. And based on that, uh, in the future, uh, we can have multiple modes of tournaments. So those who want to play the free one, they can play the free. And if, uh, you know, if there's a demand from the community, then they, the community demands that we want to have some sort of paid tournament. So then we can go ahead with that. So there'll be all options available for them. And right now it's mm-hmm. too early to say, so we're still in the beta version of the game. So if it happens, then we will definitely keep the community posted on it. Absolutely. Yeah. Perfect. There is we a question have... wherein uh, yes. can we transfer like I see someone is mm-hmm. so guys uh, stop sending yeah. questions repeatedly we are reading it and we are coming to all mm-hmm. questions one by one so one question is can we transfer NFT to friends so yes uh, no, you cannot transfer NFTs to friends directly or the the Guardian Link NFTs and Jump Crate NFTs so you will have to list them on the marketplace and then users can I mean if your friend wants to buy so you can they can buy it directly from them uh, next question is GL token launching price so again uh, we haven't really uh, decided when to launch the token so whenever we plan to launch so that time you know uh, it, again there is uh you know these are speculatory questions so the the price of the token is actually decided by you guys and not us so whenever the token launches so whatever is the market rate like depending on buyers and sellers so that will be the price and i will also like to club the question which is that uh, og token allocation so the same answer for that as well so you know, like uh, when and uh, when we are planning to launch the token, uh, that's when you know, like we'll, uh, the users that are eligible for it uh, will be allocating the tokens. Perfect. Uh, I think uh, also, I think uh, there was, I think uh, Crypto Tumble has been asking a lot of questions, and uh, I think uh, one was like, can we have multiple control options for the game? Uh, you know, like we are still working on it. Uh, like we do want to bring in a lot more complexity as well. But you know, like once users get acquainted with how the present controls are, then you know, like we'll probably roll out, you know, like gradually. So we do want to overwhelm the user with, you know, like uh, you know, like controls that you might find in an airplane, but you know, like something that's easier, and then they can gradually scale up from there. And uh, can we have multiple camera angle? Uh, uh, that's also an interesting question because you know, like uh, we are also uh, you know like working on creating like a streaming function so you know like uh, definitely we, w- we would want you know like users to you know like uh, have like a 360 experience for the game uh, but for now you know like uh, we also don't want like a heavy build so you know like for now uh, it's uh, it's a no. Perfect perfect so yes guys I think we have already reached the end of the uh, pro, uh, the community call um, looking forward for other community calls uh, in upcoming weeks as well and I am sure that we have uh, covered maximum questions in the AMA channel. However, if there are more questions uh, relevant to what we have kept the focus of discussion today, uh, we'll be answering in the same um, the channel so that you are not missing out on any required information. So to start with, Pratik, uh, your closing remarks, please. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, there are there are still some questions which we can probably, uh, you know, some of them we can probably take up. One is, uh, can your server handle 10,000 players at once? So definitely, uh, we, we have ramped up the servers and did a lot of load testing. So we can handle as many players as we can get and they are scalable servers. So that's not going to be a problem. Someone is asking, I own 12 NFTs. I need to give two to my friends. But if I list in low price, what if someone else buys? So it's like saying... You know, I have one Bitcoin. Uh, I want to give it to a friend. And if I list at 8,000, someone else will buy. So that's pretty, uh, that's something that will keep on happening. Uh, Sakti R52. So you can, uh, you know, decide to like strategize with your friend how you want to sell off, how you want to buy it. And, you know, or your friend can uh, buy it from the marketplace directly. But direct transfer right now is not available. They'll have to buy from the marketplace. And closing remarks would be... Uh, NFT craze has a good suggestion like 
like uh, control shots with swipe like finger swipe so we can explore that option for sure uh, keep sending your feedbacks in terms of how we can you know continuously keep on improvising the game and uh, we'll work on uh, that for sure uh, in terms of closing remarks uh, so again i'd like to emphasize this to the community that uh, this is the first uh, you know closed beta version if you're expecting a, a full fledged uh, you know 360 degree completely evolved version of a game so that generally never happens i'm not sure how many of them belong to a gaming background or have played games uh, you know first first time uh, for the first time but uh, it takes a lot of time for a mature product to come out and uh, the team is actively continuously rigorously working towards improving every single feature of the game and uh, we do need support from the community wherever there are bugs or issues so let us know and of course our priority is going to be to focus on uh, you know giving you a completely finished product finished product without any bugs without any issues and it's a continuous evolving process that keeps on happening every single day uh, we are round the clock working on delivering the best possible uh, you know metaverse cricket game to you guys but uh, rome was never built in a day as it has been rightly said so it takes time and uh, please be patient with the team uh, please be patient with uh, you know the bugs that might come up as we keep on developing so our focus is to uh, deliver a you know rock solid project to you which you guys can uh, you know uh, keep keep coming back to keep on playing all the time and for that of course it's a community led game community driven game so your feedback your suggestions your uh, i see some brilliant suggestions also that we have been actively noting down and we we'll try to embed all of these features eventually when the final version of the game comes out and keep on updating the same so yeah just just uh, stay tuned stay connected guys and keep on sharing your feedback with us sure yes so uh, and the team of course so uh, your closing remarks please uh no i'm i'm very excited you know like looking at the uh, everyone being so interested about the game and its functioning and uh, definitely as pratik also mentioned there are a lot of you know like very constructive uh, feedback and feedback that we can take away from here and definitely focus on you know like in our uh, future phases but yeah excited about you know like uh, where the game is okay perfect thank you so much thank you so much for joining us today guys um thank you pratik thank you um, the team behind uh, or in the making of jump dot raid uh, mcl project and yeah a lot more things uh, to be unfolded and lot uh, when i say a lot more things trust me a lot more exciting things which are worth the wait and yeah to all my beloved community members yes uh, I, be, i was also reading through all the um, <laughs> lovely messages you're putting in ama channel yeah mistakes happen guys so yeah so uh, scenarios from previous uh, Uh, community call yes i did read all of that uh, very interesting very creative thank you so much but yes uh, he is cool with it we have all we have all uh, been cool with it it is okay to grow uh, and uh, i see a lot of prominent community members who have grown with us are doing all of this um, that's not right so i think we'll all have to grow together and uh, it's okay we all learn with the process also uh, let's not use the ama channel for spamming because uh, this is where you can ask right amount of questions for which you can expect accurate answers uh, because we get in people from the team itself so uh, in the panelist people are taking time to attend this and if you ask the right questions we did uh, answer a lot of questions in the channels so if you use this space for uh, spamming or just have fun we do have channels for discussion for this purpose only but uh, somewhere we'll miss out on very important questions that we also want to answer equally so yeah um, great so uh, not just me my entire team has grown with this community so all the flaws and the um, and the good things we have embraced it we will uh, we will only appreciate it and we'll grow with time until then uh, thank you so much guys we'll catch up really soon um uh, yes cheers team jump dot trade and garden link